Okay, so we're going to do the last question here, the D part, which is asking for the pH when the volume of sodium hydroxide that has been added is equal to half the amount required to reach the equivalence point. So the first thing I'm going to say here, let me go to this here, and let me just, instead of erasing, let me just pull up a new page. Okay, why is this happening? Okay, good. All right. So, and let me zoom in on this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to state that halfway to the equivalence point The volume of sodium hydroxide added would be 12.50 mils. And of course, that's because the equivalence point is at 25 mils from the previous um, part of the, I think it was the C part of the question. So that means halfway to that point would be 12.50 mils. So the next step is to calculate the moles of sodium hydroxide. And of course, we do that by multiplying the volume of sodium hydroxide added, which we have to convert to liters, one liter over a thousand mils. And then we multiply that by the molarity, which is 0 0.500 moles per liter. And according to my calculation, this works out to be equal to 1.3 um, times 10 to the minus three moles all right so that's the moles of sodium hydroxide added the moles of hcl will be the same of course which would be 0 0.100 moles and then of course we write down the balanced equation along with the ice table that goes with it to give nacl plus h2o and then ice table set up so initially the moles of sodium hydroxide is 0.100. The moles of HCl would be 1.3 times 10 to the minus three. There'll be no sodium chloride. And of course, again, we don't need to concern ourselves with water. As far as the changes go, because this is a limiting reactant, then that will all disappear. So the change for that would be one minus 1.3 times 10 to the minus three. Because of the stoichiometry, the change here would be the same. 1.3 times 10 to the minus three because of the one to one mole ratio. And here you're gonna have plus 1.3 times 10 to the minus three. All right, um, at the end of the reaction, this will be zero. This will be plus 1.3 times 10 to the minus three. And this would be equal to, according to my calculation, 0 0.987, all right? So the next step is to calculate the concentration Oh, wait a minute. Um, I think I made a serious error here. Um, so let me, okay, let me make things easier. Let me switch these two. All right? So it should be, let's go back to the tensor function. It should be here, HCl plus NaOH, all right? So just to recap a bit, because I made that error, this is the initial amount of HCl, this is the initial amount of sodium hydroxide. The sodium hydroxide is a limiting reactant, so all of it will be used up. So the change is minus 1.3 times 10 to the minus three. The change as far as the HCl is concerned is the same because of the one-to-one -one ratio between the two. And the change as far as the sodium chloride is concerned will be plus 1.3 times 10 to the minus three. And then we get to this here, 0.987. This will be zero because it's all used up. And here we're going to have 1.3 um, times 10 to the minus three. So as I was saying, next thing we need to do is find the concentration of HCl, which would give you the concentration of H plus from which we can find the pH. Now, in order for us to do that, we need the total volume of the solution at this point. So total volume would be equal to the volume of the sodium hydroxide, which is already 25.0 zero mils, um, I'm sorry, 1.00 liters, 1.00 liters, plus 
the um the volume of the sodium hydroxide which is 12.50 liters right um which we have i mean milliliters which we have to convert to liters so this would be one liter over a thousand mils and then we add them up and we end up with an answer of 1.01 .01 liters all right so now we can find the concentration of hcl concentration of hcl which would be equal to the concentration of h plus because of course it's a strong acid will be equal to the moles which is 0 0.90987 moles divided by 1.01 .01 liter and according to my calculation this works out to be equal to 0 0.09977 m which means that um, the concentration the pH will be equal to minus log of that number 0 0.0977 which works out to be equal to according to my calculations 1.01 .01, all right so that's basically how we do that problem all right okay so the next video will deal with let's see here the next video will deal with um okay so what are we going to do in the next video is do some calculations involving weak acid strong base titrations all right